Hey guys. So, I was going through putting some clothes away earlier and I noticed some fairly significant tears in parts of my shirt. So I figured today would be a good day to talk about how we're going to stop destroying the planet with our clothes. Welcome back to day nine of our series. If you're still with us out there, just know that I love you. Today we're going to be talking about being more environmentally conscious with our clothes. The first thing you need to know, fast fashion is killing the planet. What is fast fashion? Well, today's fashion industry is built around making as much as they can for as cheap as they can, and then passing it on to the consumer at what is supposed to be a discounted price, but in reality, the clothes are cheap because they're made cheaply. These are often brands like H&M, Forever 21, The Gap, amongst many, many others. Pretty much the whole fashion industry today. In 2013 alone, the fashion industry created over 150 billion articles of clothing. That's about 20 per person on the planet. So why is this a problem? Well, there are a few huge environmental factors at play here. Number one, all of these clothes are made in other countries and they have to be shipped here. All of that shipping adds huge amounts of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Then, once the clothes are done, we throw them away. 85% of our clothes end up in landfills where they degrade, adding methane to the atmosphere. And since over 60% of all fibers in clothing today are made from polyester, which is a plastic, you guessed it, microplastic. Now, I would also be irresponsible if I did not take the opportunity to also mention the fact that the fast fashion industry is hurting and killing people with its unfair and dangerous labor practices around the world. I mean, seriously, do a little research into the fast fashion industry, you will be appalled. So, what can you do to help this problem? I'm glad you asked. There's actually a few very simple solutions that we can all start to do. First thing first, stop buying fast fashion. And honestly, this is going to be the hardest step because the news, advertising, these companies have convinced us that we all need new clothes all the time. We don't. So just stop buying them. The next thing you can do is to reduce your clothing waste by reusing old clothes. So one of the easiest things that I like to do when I have something that's gone, uh, just worn out, whatever, is I like to take my old t-shirts and I'll cut them up. And the reason that I do this is it keeps me from having to buy new rags. That's right. I like to use mine as cleaning rags. However, if you're a little bit more handy, there are some neat other options as well. So what are some of those ideas? Well, one of the first ones that I was ever introduced to is the t-shirt quilt. There are also people that know how to make these shirts into uh, fashionable scarves. Sorry if you don't like Michigan State, I don't either. You can frame old t-shirts and turn them into wall art. You can also turn them into pillowcases for uh, both as throw pillows or for your bed. Uh, one of the neater ideas that I saw with some pretty minimal cutting and sewing is turning old t-shirts into reusable produce bags so you don't even have to go buy new bags. And then the final idea is to donate clothes if you can't reuse them. And if you really can't come up with something to do within your own home, then just take your clothes and donate them to a charity like Goodwill. Oh. So we took some clothes that we no longer had a use for to the Goodwill. Now, the Goodwill. Wow, am I like 60? Jesus. So we took some clothes to Goodwill and donated them. And now they'll have a second life with a new family. Hopefully they'll get put to some good use. There's also a few simple steps when it comes to doing your laundry that will help the environment and help your clothes last longer. First thing first, make sure you have an energy efficient washing machine. Only ever wash in full loads using green detergent and cold water. And remember, you can wear something more than once before you wash it. As always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and share this video. And remember, only solutions.